some of you are already big fans of historical recreations, you know that I have created hundreds of props. And during this video, every time you see this skull, it will lead to a link down below that will show you how to create that prop. Today I'm going to be showing you how to simplify and make a very macabre and darker Halloween. All is aesthetics. Building otherworldliness and creating illusion. So, without further ado, let's go on. An extremely important element to add to our atmosphere today is this solid black cotton fabric. Now you can get this at any fabric shop and I'd also highly recommend getting about 10 to 12 yards of it. Another complementary color is this. It is called Oxblood Red. Either one of these colors work perfectly well for our tutorial today and create the perfect spooky atmosphere. Now if you've ever been to the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland or Disney World, you will discover that the props in there are illuminated perfectly and that the dark ride is actually made up of 10% props and 90% lighting. Don't believe me? Check it out. The illumination of inside of the Haunted Mansion makes all of that come to life. I'm going to show you this collection over here of LED lights. No, these are not real candles. They are dollar store triple A battery LED candles. And that is real wax on there. I had put them in containers to show you how realistic they look. Always put your candles, your LED candles, inside of containers. It makes them look even more realistic. It's a part of the illusion. And I had wrapped up these glass containers with black ribbon. And if you know anything about the Victorian era and the era of mourning, you will discover that wraps around something meant that the family was in mourning. Up front over here, I have two other forms of LED lighting. And if used correctly, these halogen LED lights create quite an eerie effect. Utilize them in your Halloween decor this year. Now let's go on to looking at some more prop making. Shan't we? And some very special elements that you should have in your home decor this year for Halloween. Now if you haven't seen my tutorial on how to create these, there are medieval style books. And I'll leave a link in the description down below. Also over here to the left, candle obras that we had created here in Historical Recreations. Beautiful and gothic. Up front over here is a two foot dollar store plant that we have just sprayed jet black. Created a loop and it looks like a nest of raven's feathers. Very powerful in decorating this year. And go get yourself some of this. This is mesh lace draped over a head or draped over any object in your home creates a very sinister atmosphere. Now comes the most interesting part of our video where I start creating elements in the home to put these props together. Join me. Preparing any area of your home is essential. You might want to black out a part of a wall using some of our fabric and also cover an obliging table with a sheet of our black. Now let's start building on this and putting our props down.
And our next part of our tutorial today, we're going to be talking about skulls. All of these were created here at Historical Recreations, and I have two very important people that I had created. I have David and Cedric over here, and the twins have not been named yet. If you're wondering, all of these bones are polysynthetic resin poured, so they are poured from real skulls. If you haven't seen my tutorial on how to age bone, I'll be leaving the link in down below. But these props are the most classic and the most uh, Halloweenish that one can get. I love them. Just a few bits of candlelight and a little bit of decor will really set people on edge. So let's now go on and look at some more heads, mummified heads. A wonderful and classical element you can add to your Halloween decor, mummified heads. Let's talk about them, shall we? Over here to my left we have a glass clutch, and this has got three mummified heads done up in Bergen's and Bork's style. Yes, I have a tutorial on how I created that, and the glass is smoked. I want to call your attention over here to shrunken heads that we have created. And yes, I have a video on how we created those, how subtle. And up front over here we have three, I love them, miniature shrunken skulls with the flesh still rotting on them. The look is very abysmal. Perfect for any Halloween decor. And very chilling. Let's go on to the next part of our tutorial. Now I know someone out there is going to ask, how on earth did you paint the walls black? I didn't. I just pinned some black fabric to the walls very, very easily. Now, once we got our setup started, let's start creating our prop display. Now wait. It's not done yet. Let me add one more element. Simple and easy.
another very strange and unusual prop that you could find in Canon historical recreation are these Death Eater masks. Could you imagine seeing a whole entire wall of these, or even a hallway filled with them? Quite pensive, I might add. I had waited a long time to create this video, and I hope that you've enjoyed the tips given here on how to create the perfect Halloween atmosphere using props. Gothically yours, Professor.